The eyes of the world are following the showdown in America between democracy and autocracy, between decency and dominion, between the freedom of choice and the restriction of rights. And on one side, there's a dedicated public servant who's currently compromised by COVID. On the other side, there's a convicted felon sporting an eye-catching ear bandage, preparing to be anointed by real-life racist Hulk Hogan in the final night of his convention christening, where, mark my words, Trump will tell you he's not only eaten his vitamins and said his prayers, he's seen the light. But before this MAGA Watt event that I like to call Weaselmania, there was an undercard yesterday that saw two bitter rivals square off in a match that only one man would walk away from as the undisputed victor. And in the climactic video we're about to run, old foes John Stewart and Bill O'Reilly rekindle their long feud in a knockdown, drag out battle of wits. And I don't have to tell you, there's no love lost between these two individuals. I truly hate it, but I don't. <laughs> in fact, over the years, these rivals have had some serious history of talking trash and laying the smackdown on each other. But before we show you yesterday's submission maneuver and their most recent tussle, here's a quick look at some of their best no holes barred clashes that have happened over the years. Do you know what's really frightening? You've been reading my diary. You actually have an influence on this presidential election. Oh, that I, is that is scary. that is. If that were so, that would be. Quite but it is. It's true. I mean, you got stone slackers watching your dopey show every night. Yeah. Okay, and they can vote. You can't stop them. Yeah, I just don't know how motivated they would be, these stone slackers. Yeah, it just depends if they have to go out there. Sl- what am I, a Cheech and Chong movie? Stone slackers? <laughs> so you got killing Lincoln, killing Kennedy, I right. assume killing Garfield? No. The <laughs> president or the cat, you know whichever you want to do. Is? What's the next one? Killing Colbert. <laughs> oh, that's not. No. I cannot abide. You have stepped over the line, sir. We have a president here who believes in social justice, all right? He wants to take your money, my money. I work hard for my money. Let me ask you. Here's how hard I work. I'm here. Okay. (laughs) My friend Bill O'Reilly is completely full of (laughs) s***. All right, Stuart is back. It's inexplicable, but he's here. Stuart is back. Yeah, you're back on the factor. What about, hi, John, great to see you. Nice to see you as well, Bill. What, what, you want me to be a phony? It hurts my feelings. But, Stuart. Oh, my God. On election night in You got, like, Ali's reach. You see the arms on Oh, you have no idea, It's like dealing with Dikembe Mutombo, trying to argue with, you're giving me one of these. What? No, 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 no. And in one corner, he hails from New York City and is the 12-time Emmy Award-winning host of The Daily Show, John Stewart. And his opponent, weighing in on everything from ACLU terrorists to interspecies marriages, he hails from Fox News, until they fired him, Bill O'Reilly. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. And yesterday, these two titans of talk went one-on-one one more time to settle a score about GOP heavyweight, and I mean heavyweight, Donald J. Trump and his current opponent, the malarkey buster Joe Biden. And in the early moments of this rematch, both men eyed each other warily. Now, your question, and thank you for letting me take over Did the I show. Did I have a question? I don't yeah, remember. Thank, thank you for letting me run While the you were show. talking, I was watching a different program. Right. I'm watching. I'm- First, O'Reilly took the upper hand early on. They're so untalented. And, and I but, wanna, but you, I, but, you and I, wait, wait, oh uh, boy, uh, oh boy. I want to make this point because Stuart and I have a, a history. But John Stewart managed to reach down for that little something extra to turn the tables. The Third Reich, you know, okay. Um, you know he didn't say that. But no, but he, <laughs> he was thinking it, Stewart. He yes. was thinking it, I could read him. Stop monetizing yeah. your anger. So anyway. <laughs> but as these veteran combatants square off yet one more time, only one would walk off champion while the other would be left searching for answers. If Trump hadn't done that on January 6th, he'd be ahead of Biden by 25 points in the poll. I, I mean, that's I, how bad Biden has been for the country. Well, I, I disagree with that, but that's, uh, that's of course you do. But well, that's OK. Well, I understand. That. I can back it up. Do you want me to? OK, I mean, I'm going to ruin your day. I'm going to ruin your day. Stuart. You, you brought a handkerchief. All right. <laughs> I was prepared for this. <laughs> Food prices under Biden up 20 percent. Gas sure. prices 38. Yeah, yeah. Mortgage rates 160 percent. Yeah, prices are going. Drug up. ODs up 36 percent. Okay. Uh, Car insurance 125 percent up. Right. 
these are folks. They have to spend that money. Listen, the, it, n there's no question that post-pandemic, this country and the world have suffered Trump from Trump had two years of post-pandemic. Right, but Trump ran an $8 trillion deficit. He spent $1.7 trillion on tax cuts. He deregulated Inflation industry. Inflation was he cut 1.5% when he walked out the door. Right. But look at it in relation to the world. I respectfully say, yes, inflation was too high, and that hurts American consumers. You want this? So what did Biden do to create that, though? I don't know, and that's what I would have asked him. You, you wrote down a piece of paper, but you didn't look up the answer. No. <laughs> and while that might have been some lighthearted relief from the news of the day, the truth is the political landscape is beginning to look more and more like an angle in pro wrestling. And the question of who will get to finish their story, well, that remains unanswerable right now. So it will be up to the fans, the voters, to cast a thumbs up or a thumbs down in this ongoing struggle for our nation's future. Of course, the difference is wrestling is fake, and Trump and his legion of dominion, well, they're all too real. So keep that in mind when Hollywood Hulk Hogan takes the stage tonight. And then ask yourself, what you're going to do when racial intolerance and fascist fanaticism run wild on you? Come on, Bobby, let's go. Oh, no. ah, oh, no. oh my God. Ah, oh, my God. Ah, ah, ah. Well, we all better say our prayers. Train, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, be true to yourself, true to your country, be a real American. Whew.